This is a presentation on Louise Arbor. Now you may be wondering why Louise Arbor is a... Oh, good job. Good job. That's it. That's it. Five, four, three, two, one. Louise Arbor was born in Montreal, Quebec to Bernard and Rose Arbor, the owners of a hotel chain. She attended a Catholic convent school. When she was 10, her parents divorced, only encouraging her to excel in her studies. She later graduated at the University of Montreal, studying civil law. She was an activist that stood up and brought justice to who needed it most, whether her neighbor or somebody across the world. In 1987, she was appointed to Supreme Court of Ontario. Instead of having to research and take notes about what is happening in the world, being the sidekicks of the judges, detectives, and the commissioners, she is now able to put her foot down and give these people the rights they deserve and bring those who wrong them to justice. During her time as the judge for the Supreme Court of Ontario, she, she met her husband and longtime partner, Larry Taman who also went to Osgoode, which happens to be the most prestigious Canadian law university. She had two daughters and one son with Larry Taman. Louise Arbor is best known as Chief Prosecutor for Tribunals in the Genocide in Rwanda and Human Rights Abuses in Yugoslavia in the 1990s. This is a trailer for her movie Hunt for Justice. Side above a small village are sights you hoped never to see. Body after body scattered over the frozen ground. All were ethnic Albanians. You can't indict a sitting president. I promised these people that someone would pay for these victims. Someone would pay for these crimes. And how many arrests? Seven. Three years you made seven arrests? I understand suspects from Bukovar and other crimes are at large in all your zones. I was hoping you gentlemen might help me understand that. The situation is quite complicated. I can't try them until you arrest them. This is not our war. That's ludicrous. That's politics. We've got reports of another massacre at a town called Suba Reka. He's starting another war. The man must be mad. Pull this one's train, madame, and everything can unravel. How many free passes are you willing to give him? If your operation is falling apart, as a result, you have no one to blame but yourself. How many genocides does one man get to wage? From now on, things are going to have to change. We're going after Homo You like indicting a president? Let's write him up. Got him. United States forces acting with our NATO allies have commenced airstrikes against Serbian military targets in the former Yugoslavia. Give me a chance to end this war in The Hague. You can't let anything get in your way. I don't intend to. Some people don't approve of the help that I've given you. If there was ever a time to do this, it would be now. Wendy Crewson. John Corbett. William Hurt. At noon today, President Slobodan Milosevic was indicted on the charge of crimes against humanity. Showing that Louise wanted fair justice, not being biased to one side because so much has happened to them. These are the qualities of a leader. She showed courage and bravery in taking down criminals responsible for the thousands of deaths. Louise possesses the qualities of a great person and an amazing judge, but she shows traits that may lead everybody to believe that she is the greatest Canadian woman of all time. She may not be a runner, an astronaut, or an inventor, but she is definitely the greatest woman in Canada and has had the most influential life possible. That's all, folks.